Hey everyone, welcome to myphotocentral.com. This is Anoop and today we'll be talking to you about one of the most powerful tool in Photoshop that is Curves. So you can get Curves in Photoshop from here. Curves and this is how our Curves look like. It's a simple diagonal line between two endpoints and this is what we'll be using today. Most pro Photoshop users tend to use Curves to get most for the contrast. Uh, making your image brighter darker and also playing with the colors and today we will try to unfold all these techniques to you in the most simplest way possible so let's get started so the most easiest way of using curves would be either dragging it upward or dragging it down so if you drag it up your image become brighter if you drag it down your image become more darker and to get uh, rid of these points all you got to do is select it and then drag it to any of the edges you can create multiple pinpoints and it's simple to get rid of this select and drag it to the edge select and drag it to the edge now you should understand while editing photos in photoshop or in any other editing software you are basically dealing with three types of tones one is highlight the other is shadows and it's and third is mid tones so the brightest part of the image represent highlight the sort of the sky is brightest so uh, this part represent highlight uh, shadow is uh, represented by a darkest pixel so this is the darkest pixel we see in our image and this is represented as shadows and midtone is something between shadows and highlights it so it's neither as dark as shadows and nor as bright as uh, as our highlights so if i have to label the curves the top part of the panel would represent highlight the bottom part of the panel would represent shadows and midtone is represented by somewhere in between so this could be our ideal midpoint for midtones so now if you could relate curves lets you to control these individual tones so i can either choose to make my shadows more darker or i can choose my shadows to be more brighter similarly i can choose my midtones to be more darker or it can be more brighter so if i drag my highlights towards my left which is basically i'm taking it upward and if i drag it towards my right which is basically i'm taking it downward you shall see the changes when it's down you see the highlight is losing the intensity and when i drag it to my left side you see the intensity is much more than it was before so with this curves give me an amazing flexibility of controlling only the selected tones that I want so it can be shadows highlight and mid tones in curves we have also got a hand tool which you can use to change the brightness and darkness of your image you can simply move your cursor around the image and click on any one part so if you move your cursor up it gets brighter if you move your curves down it gets darker so it's only controlling that part of the image so I can click and keep on creating midpoints so if I click it on the sort you shall see it's the highlight part of my image personally I feel more control working from the curves than with the hand tool now let's talk about the colors with curves you get three different options on colors red green and blue the another key important things to remember would be each of this color have got an opposite color the opposite color of red is cyan, the opposite color of green is magenta and the opposite color of blue is yellow. So you basically don't have to remember it, you shall gradually get the more hold of it once you, once you start using your channel curves. So the opposite color of red is cyan. So if I drag my red channel up, I'm adding more of a red tone. If I'm adding, if I'm dragging my curves down, I'm getting more of a cyan. It applies similar on the green as well for green if i drag it up it gets greener and if i drag it down it gets magenta and for blue if i drag it upward it gets blue and if i drag it down it gets more of a yellow because blue and yellow are two opposite color so let me reset it again and let's go to the blue channel once again now you should understand like curves on rgb curves on these three color tones work similarly for example if i want to add blue color only on my shadows all i got to do is select here and take it up now you see my shadow has a 
blue color i also have some blue color on my highlight so what i can do is i can click the curves and get it back to the center to balance it so now only the shadows part of my image has blue tone now for example if i wanted to add red color on my highlight i shall simply select the highlight part of the red channel and drag it towards the highlight part so you see now my image has a red tone on its highlight but it also had on mid tone so what i will do is i will select it and get it back to its original space now only the highlight part of my image has a bit of red tint so now what we know is we have three colors red green and blue each of this color have their opposite color for red it's cyan for green it's magenta for blue it's yellow so now we have only six color on our options but for example if you wanted want to create a new color for example i want to create a, an orange what i got to do is i have to understand an orange color is made when you add a red and yellow on it so for example i want to have a bit of a orange tone on my shadow so what i will do is i will go to my blue and add a bit of yellow on my shadows first so i think this is it i added a bit of yellow on my shadows then i go to red then i add again red on my shadows now if you see we have a bit of orange tone on our shadows so this is how we create a new color and i think this is what we have to offer you today on curves if you like the video do share us among your friends and family do support us with your subscription that will definitely help us to come up with more and more videos in the future and until next time take care bye bye